I gotta say, I'm really happy with how this piece turned out. And whereas I look at it and I can clearly see there's still areas that I need to improve. There are areas where I could improve this piece. I just couldn't be happier with the end result, really. Uh, for the amount of time that I put in it, I have about eight hours in this. And I just, where it is at this point, I'm, I'm personally done with it. I'm calling it done. Uh, even though I know that there are places where I can improve upon it. But I'm still very, very happy with the result that I got. I know your time is uh, precious to you. And if you leave a comment and let me know what you think, I would really appreciate that. But I wanted to take a minute and tell you about uh, a couple of pieces of advice that I got recently that I feel like have really helped me in my journey as an artist to improve and to continue to strive to improve. One was in the form of a, con a comment. And in this comment, SH Creative said, nice work, but was the aim to recreate the image to 3D or be inspired by it? Because it's pretty far off from the reference image. Uh, and they're absolutely right. It is pretty far off from the reference image. I appreciated this comment because it really caused me to uh, analyze why I didn't push that image further. This comment was on my Iron Man video where I uh, sculpted a reference image of Iron Man. And I, I think my fear of hard surface modeling, my fear of would I actually be able to get it to look uh, like the reference image, you know, when it comes to 3D images and taking a 2D image and making it a 3D image, you, um, can't do everything right uh, because there's just things in 2d that don't work in 3d and there's things in 3d that don't work in 2d you can't imitate 2d lighting and how someone paints the lighting in 2d exactly the same way in 3d you can get it close uh, but you just you can't do it exactly so there are those kinds of things that you have to contend with and I think sometimes I use those things as a crutch to say oh well you know I mean you just yeah that's just when you're converting from 2d to 3d there's nothing you can do about that so this comment really drove me to ask myself you know am I using this crutch or is it a skill level issue and so I found uh, this reference image um, that someone, you know, posted. Uh, I found this reference image that is by um, Raids Art, I believe is the name. And I, I mean, yeah, I, it just captivated me. I love the lighting and the use of colors and um, there's a complexity to it but there aren't a lot of pieces to it. And so I thought to myself when I saw it, this is something that I have the skill level to recreate, to truly recreate uh, in 3D uh, and, and try and force myself to push past those barriers that I set up for myself. So I really appreciated SH Creative's uh, advice. Uh, another thing they said to me, they said, um, you treat it like, I don't know if you've ever played one of those games where, or you've seen those pictures where you have to spot the difference, where, um, you know, there's like five or six things that you go through and you try and circle all those differences uh, in the images. I used to play those in magazines in the doctor's office as a kid. So, uh, and, and treating my um, the new piece that I'm creating as one of those really really helped me I think I had always kind of felt like it was cheating uh, to add the image to blender and to kind of look through the camera through the image at my sculpt to see if I was getting proportions right that if I ever did that then you know I wasn't truly being training my eye um, but in this image that's exactly what I did, and I'm glad I did it because one, 
it showed me how close I actually was because uh, in a lot of areas my proportions were very very close if not spot on but there were also some areas where my proportions were really far off um, I had like the angle of her head wrong the first time I looked through uh, the image um, I also was able to play with the focal length of the camera to see if I could kind of align things a little bit better again just like some of those challenges of 2d and 3d um, but you know I don't I don't think it's cheating I think you know with practice you get better and better and better at uh, you know proportioning and, and getting the, all that correct as you block out your image but you do uh if you know if you want it to look good you know use the image oh, that's what i thought i was like you know what i'm just going to use the image to help myself uh to get these proportions right um so that's one of the things that i did with this particular image that i feel like really took it to the next level and i think i'm going to do it more uh it just help me as i'm continuing to progress Another piece of advice that I got that was I really appreciated was um, from another artist and we were just talking about you know animation and things like that and he uh, encouraged me he said make sure you finish your projects uh, don't go halfway and then stop uh, I think at the time I was doing a lot of sculpting uh, but I wasn't doing very much in terms of materials or uh, textures or lighting or even storytelling. You know, I wasn't setting up the camera and I wasn't setting up uh, additional objects in the scene to like build out the entire scene and build out that story. Um, I would do a little bit of sculpting. Um, then I would feel like I would get to this point where I knew the image in my head I couldn't get into the final render and I got so frustrated with that that I would just stop and I I wouldn't do any more work on the piece and I'd move on to the next piece but what that actually ended up doing is I you know sure I was working on uh, some sculpting skills but I wasn't working on those other skills that are crucial to create a really nice piece of art So getting this advice to finish a piece uh, really motivated me to say, okay, yes, I know I'm not going to be able to get the image that I have in my head into that final render exactly as I want it. But that doesn't mean I can't get a really nice final render. And that got me working on textures and developing new skills in terms of making textures, creating textures, and using textures that other people had created. Um, it got me working on materials and how different materials can be used and what uh, materials you want to use in what settings. Uh, it got me focused on lighting and just how vital lighting is to your final render, how important it is to making that render look the way you want it to look and to tell the story you want it to tell. It also got me more involved in my storytelling and thinking about what story I'm trying to tell with this piece. So the advice of, of finishing artwork, I think really changed the trajectory of my artistry. Uh, up until that point, I, I wasn't really making any progress. So if you feel like you're at a stage where you're not making any progress and, and you're kind of doing the same thing I was where you're stopping because you can't get that final render you want, don't let that stop you. Keep moving forward and keep pushing. Uh, be happy with whatever render you get and then always strive to make that next render just a little bit better. Uh, keep in mind that every piece of artwork that you'll make will have that ugly stage, you know, that stage where it just doesn't look right. It doesn't look good. 
um, but you have to push past that stage and, and continue to refine and add those additional details because that's what makes the final image look so great and tells that story. I was also thinking about our uh, just our, our artistry career, you know, and I, I was thinking about does uh, does my career have an ugly stage as an artist? And what it got me thinking about is uh, how there are times where my eye, I feel like, improves before my skill does, meaning that I notice that something is wrong. Uh, but I don't know how to fix it. Uh, I notice that maybe some anatomy is wrong or some coloring is wrong, some texture painting is wrong, uh, but I don't really know how to fix it. And so um, I feel like I get to those points, like these plateaus, these ugly stages where my eye is just a little bit better than my skill. And I'm really trying to encourage myself, just like I have to push past that ugly stage in the artwork, I have to push past that ugly stage in my development as an artist so that I can continue to improve. Because if I let myself uh, focus on what doesn't look good, then I'll never notice how much I've improved or notice just how good uh, the piece is. So. I have this piece here that, um, yeah, I, I mean, it needs, there are areas where it could improve, there are areas where it could be better, but uh, when it comes to taking a 2D image and converting it to a 3D image, I really think this is the best I have done up to this point. I am just so pleased and I think it has a lot to do with that advice, finish pieces. And you know, the nice comment that I got where just continue to analyze the two images and keep refining them uh, and you can, you know, get them to look more alike. So I hope you uh, enjoy uh, this render. So this is the comparison of the two pieces. Um, Again, I'm really, really pleased with how my final render turned out. Setting them side by side like this, this is the first time I've done this, probably shouldn't be the first time I've done this, but setting them side by side like this, I can clearly see areas where, um, yeah, I, I still could make improvement. But at having you know just over eight hours in this piece, I'm gonna call it done and uh, move on to the next adventure. Thanks so much for watching this video and uh, I hope you enjoy and continue to find joy in your journey as an artist.